Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 25th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our star at 304 angstroms. We have had a couple M-class solar flares, earth-facing position, current R1 radio blackouts in progress, minor at that. But definitely seeing some activity here with six active sunspot regions earth-facing, and we've got some cresting imagery here looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Left-hand side bright region, newly formed sunspot, and as well all along the cresting limb, lots of plasma filaments racing around the surface. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, we did have a couple backside solar flares and as well earth-facing events the last few days. We are seeing the effects right now. Having a look at multi-spectrum, this is where we can see the darkened regions, which are coronal holes. And they did give us an intensified coronal hole wind stream over the past couple days. And as well are going through a space weather event right now and look at the last few images here from the latest M-class solar flare, 3311, still a very active and large sunspot region. Looking at another graph, this is where we can see the sunspot regions. Southern Hemisphere one is about, you could probably fit about 10 Earths inside that thing. It is massive. And just south of the equator there, the newly formed sunspot and as well the most recent flash there just west of that huge sunspot region m-class solar flare having a look at 171 angstroms just some amazing imagery brought to you by solar dynamics observatory i want to thank you all for tuning in today stay aware and prepared stay safe and healthy out there and i appreciate you tuning in much love Having a look at current space weather conditions, we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts. After that M-class solar flare, solar winds just over 500 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux still in the C range after firing off four M-class solar flares over the past 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated there with a KP3 real-time solar wind right now we're sitting at 555 kilometers per second but we were jacked up earlier to about 625 and as well about 650 kilometers per second yesterday with the impact from a glancing blow cme and this is what our solar winds look like on a graph brought to you by the geospace magnetosphere cut planes Showing the wind speeds, darker reds being the faster winds. Look at all that energy on the backside. Backdraft going on. Ispwa Space Prediction Spiral showing all the energy. Taking off from the sun the last four days and predicted here for the next five. We are under a watch with a glancing blow from that CME. Most recent M-Class Solar Flare. And as well, I'd like to share the NOAA space prediction spiral current space weather having a look at lasco 3 showing the last five days of events as i have not reported in five days but live stream has been going so feel free to come and check up any time but this is an update that has not been updated in five days so five days of imagery here brought to you by soho showing all of our sun's energy. You can see those halo CMEs when energy encompasses around the sun and takes off. We did have a couple major M-class solar flares over the past five days. If there is no video, please feel free to stop by the earthquake live stream. Always a ton of information in there and as well, many friends and family in the chat section. Now let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 48 hours as we've seen an uptick. Our world is on watch. After a 6.6 .6 earthquake yesterday in Panama, we've seen six 
aftershocks throughout the region, Panama, Colombia region, and this is where a large eruption at Reventador occurred. As well, notable there, 4.6 Venezuela. And then on the opposite antipode to that, we also had today, or yesterday, a 6.2 in the Banda Sea, and a lot of energy moving towards the Philippines. We saw a 5.2 earthquake here, Basco, Philippines, just south of Taiwan. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 604 kilometer depth, Lavuka, Fiji, 5.0 magnitude. Just look at all the earthquakes here the last 48 hours. We are going through some busy times. Aftershock still going off through Loyalty Islands after that large 7.7, 5.5 there, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 4.6 Western Indian Antarctic Ridge, right up into the Indian Plate, Eurasia Plate activity. Activity is south of Africa as well, a 4.8, but notable earthquakes south of there the last few days. What's that? Caucasus, Russia, 4.7. South Sandwich Islands, 5.1 earthquake there today, 4.6 yesterday. Lots of activity, South America, moving down into Chile, all along the coastline. United States, not so much. Largest being, well, most notable here is a 3.2 in Kansas. Largest being 3.5, White City, New Mexico. Largest through California being a 3.0 at Big Pine, California. No major swarms to talk about. Sitting at about 220 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Increasing activity through Alaska and all around the Pacific Plate for that matter. Please heads up, stay aware, prepared, and share this channel with your friends and family. The world is on watch after all this most recent earthquake activity and as well space weather. 5.5 there reported off the northern coast of California this week. As well a notable 7.6 earthquake, Africa, Antarctic plate. That happened about four days ago. And of course, a 7.7 .7 Loyalty Islands this week. Many, many aftershocks through the trench. Heads up, stay aware, prepared. It's what it's all about. Let's have a look at SO2 models here after major eruptions at Popocatetl and as well Reventador. Still looking at ash and debris plumes heading out into the East Pacific and as well north into the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. And as well, a sizable eruption, notable and continuous eruptions at Mount Etna in Italy. SO2 sweeping across Western Russia right now. Quick look around the rest of the world for SO2 models right now. Still a lot of SO2 and debris coming out of Kamchatka. Eastern Russia, Northwest Pacific there, and sweeping across the Northern Pacific. Now let's get to weather here as we have Super Typhoon Marwar, who devastated Guam over the past 48 hours as a Category 4 Super Typhoon, packing winds of 155 miles per hour, but right now it is a Category 5 Super Typhoon. Just look at the satellite imagery of this beast. And it is set to probably break typhoon records, surpassing records broken by Super Typhoon Haiyan, 175 mile per hour sustained winds, 316 kilometers per hour wind gusts. Having a look here at the forecast model, it is a category five right now Sustained winds of 175 miles per hour and gusting up to 220. Look at the centrical eye of this storm. Just an amazing piece of nature. Mother Nature's fury, marwar, which means rose, is sweeping across the West Pacific and going to affect northern Philippines by Saturday into Sunday. 
and then bringing in bands of moisture towards Taiwan, just missing the coast there, and then heading up into South China, and most likely northeastwards towards Japan. Other than that, no major cyclones or typhoons to talk about. Lots of moisture heading in this week to New Zealand. Australia, very dry this week. High pressure ridge locked in, not letting any systems through. Overlooking North America, South America. No major lows affecting this week. We've got at least a 10-day dry trend across eastern Canada. High pressure ridge locked in. Daily evaporation rains across the west. Stormy conditions around the Gulf. Snowy conditions through Newfoundland and parts of eastern Quebec. Daily evaporation rains across northern South America. And no hurricanes in the forecast here. Overlooking Europe and Africa and as well Russia. No major system is affecting you guys this week. Clear conditions for most of Western and Central Europe, United Kingdom. High pressure is locked in. And then we've got Super Typhoon Marwar. Amazing imagery here. Satellite images of Super Typhoon Marwar. Quite possibly going to break some records tonight. So heads up. Stay safe to anyone in the path and prayers to anyone it has affected already. Much love and thank you so much for watching today. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.